It's the 21st of the 12th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I want to start tonight off with a shot. Here's to it. All the bullshit, for better or worse. I'm having a great time, in case you were wondering. So let's get started. SOT.net. Extreme cold prompts state of emergency in Russia. They've got some extreme temperatures. Um, 48, 36 below in um, Celsius in regions. They're literally taking boiling cups of water and throwing them up in the air and the ice crystals form when it gets really that cold. I've seen it happen here in Iowa before. I've done it myself when we got a 50 below temperature one night years ago. Unstable sea slab near Barrier Reef could generate monster tsunami in North Queensland. A big chunk of the uh, Barrier Reef is about to crack off and slide down into the depths of the Pacific. Much like a, a big chunk of the large island of Hawaii is cracking off and one day will slide into the Pacific. Uh, these things happen geologically from time to time and uh, best to stay out of the way. Uh, why Russia cold snap is so deadly. Of course, those extreme temperatures so low, people freeze quickly. Super freezing weather results in falling ice bombs in Vancouver, British Columbia. Forces bridges to close. And a couple people got hurt because big ice chunks have fallen off the, the high beams of these bridges and smacking down on the roadway. Cause of death of thousands of herring in West Iceland, a mystery. Now Iceland's a very volcanic area, uh, could be an underwater volcano kind of thing, or uh, you never know, who knows what they're dumping in the oceans nowadays, so it's a mystery. And blizzard conditions for much of the U.S., heavy snow, strong winds, and significant travel disruptions. I actually got a couple offers from the big um, networks. They wanted to use my thunder snow video. I told them to go ahead, of course, I really don't care. You know, if you see or can use any one of my videos, uh, please do um, feel free to use my stuff anytime you want. I have no problems with that whatsoever. Guatemala's uh, Pacaya volcano erupts, spews ash and gas. Uh, more volcanoes going up in Guatemala. Um, and again, down to 50 below Celsius, Russia freezes to death the strongest in decades when it hits. And of course, that north uh, magnetic pole is flying ever so closely to Siberia. Over to the extinction protocol, of course, they've got the Guatemala volcano story. Um, advent of winter to bring blizzard conditions to much of the United States, of course. Uh, Shallow earthquake re reported near Japan's uh, Adatara, A-D-A-T-A-R-A -A -A volcano. A uh, large um, bunch of earthquakes underneath this volcano. So we got another one gearing up there. Over to the RSO week, of course, real quick. Uh, Sri Lanka's uh, flash flooding. That has to do with that cyclone and the, the tsunamis and stuff going on. Uh, the volcano eruption in Ecuador. Um, snowstorms in Canada. Uh, where was the stories? Okay, yeah, we got tornado and severe weather reports coming out of Arkansas, Alabama. Um, just part of the, the, the warm side of this big front rolling through uh, the U.S. right now. I thought they were going to name these winter storms this year. I'm not really sure what the name of this one uh, will be, if it will have one at all kind of thing. Finally tonight, over to the radiation stuff, uh, E&E News. Study X-ray-like images show radioactive contamination spread through the leaves and grass collected from Fukushima to Tokyo. Um, the extent of the radioactivity is just now leaking out um, to the public kind of thing. And they can't stop the truth from leaking out of what is Fukushima. Fukushima worker rats now being found in many places around the plant. Concern about biting cables, tripping electrical systems, and spreading high levels of contamination. And they're going to have control of all of these nuclear sites for several hundred thousands of years, folks. 
don't worry, everything's safe and under control, and humanity is well on its way um, to everlasting greatness, or whatever that they think they're doing. TEPCO fuel assemblies could be damaged from shock in Fukushima Unit 3 pool. You think? Did you see the explosion? Mother, quote, child with severe nosebleeds, full bloody rash after playing in Fukushima contaminated water. So much blood. Thought head was cut open, fingers covered with open sores. This is just the beginning, folks. Just the beginning. We have generations and generations and generations to deal with this mess. Floating Pier comes ashore in Washington. If experts don't get it today, next chance is early January. They just don't have the money. It's not cost effective to clean up this radioactive and God knows what other chemicals that were all up and down that Japanese coast industrial beltway. Who knows what got dumped and pushed, dragged back into the ocean uh, from that original tsunami. And it's all heading up on the west coast right now. New official map of giant sinkhole, this is Louisiana. Visible evidence of substance further west, heavy gas bubble activity recently observed. This whole salt dome is dissolving from underneath. Um, some of us are thinking that it might have to do with the BP oil disaster and uh, they didn't really stop it, it just found a fault line and went in a different direction. So who knows what's really going on in Louisiana. Um, definitely a heads-up situation. Uh, small blips of hydrogen sulfide detected in an aquifer near giant sinkhole, of course. Fukushima nuclear pollution to hit the U.S. starting in 2015. Study impact strength of cesium-137 on west coast to be as high as 4%. And I've reported um, months ago that the British did studies on sea mist and the radioactivity in the water off the coast of England and that this plutonium that's in the natural seawater now from all the stuff they've blown up over the years uh, can float from the sea mist up to 15 kilometers inland depending on the breeze kind of thing. So when you're smelling that sea air on the west coast, it will be radioactive just to let you know this. TEPCO concerned about liner of number three spent fuel pool at Fukushima plant, question mark. New flyover of giant sinkhole, only low resolution footage made available. No HD videos, I'm buying that one. And uh, what the hell, we're just going to call that done for today. I'm going to do one more shot online with you. This shot goes out to the U-Tribers. Just remember, have fun. LOL. Uh, enjoy while you can, and I'm sure I'll see you later. Thanks.